As promised, we are back here again on the Cowboys Report, this time breaking down the Dallas Cowboys practice squad. 15 players of the 17, that is 17, not 16, by the way, the Cowboys are allowed to have are now known. Now, there are some players they were not able to get to the practice squad. Some notable ones we'll discuss here on today's video. But first, this is why you guys should be part of the Nodi Gang. Cowboys news could happen at any time. The price is still not done, making various tweaks and adjustments. You might hear another signing or two, uh, adjustment made to the active roster, etc. So make sure those noties are set to all. Go back to where you first subscribed. Click the bell icon. Change it from personalized to all so you never miss any video here on the Cowboys Report. So first, as we did in a short earlier today, because it was too tight against the Dalvin Cook news, Julius Wood does not make it to the Cowboys practice squad he has been claimed by the Tennessee Titans. That's the one that hurts me. You're, you're in very good shape at safety. I would have just cut C.J. Goodwin and then put Julius Wood on the active roster and done three game day calls for C.J. Goodwin and then figure it out at that point. Cowboys didn't go down that, down that path, and this could end up being Isaiah Land 2.0 for you, who did, by the way, make the Colts roster again. Also claimed was Eric Scott Jr., not by the Washington Commanders, though. The Chiefs, uh, which in kind of a hilarious, for some, twist, um, they traded the pick that became Eric Scott and then got Eric Scott off of waiver wire, which is kind of funny there uh, after Boss Man Fat spent some time with them as well. So those two players did not make it down to waivers or through waivers. I don't know if Scott would have been on your practice squad anyway, though. All right, so we'll go player by player here on the Cowboys practice squad to Running backs. Malik Davis is going to be on the practice squad. He could be a game day call up. Seems like Bones Fossil pretty high on him from a special teams perspective. Uh, but he, as expected, that wasn't a huge surprise, made it through to the practice squad. Dalvin Cook signing as of this moment of, feel, uh, of filming is not officially technically signed. Um, but there is, that's going to happen eventually at some point. He will be on your practice squad as well. Jalen Cropper, the wide receiver, one of several who have signed so far, by the way. Uh, that, that one isn't a huge surprise either. The Cowboys liked him. He just didn't quite carry it through to the games. Glad he was able to make it to the practice squad. I'll give some love to Kelvin Harmon, the former NC State product who had a bunch of draft fans coming out. He earned that spot. He, he won it. He was not supposed to be on the practice squad when camp began. In fact, he was actually a later on signing in camp along with Deontay Burnett. But he impressed so much in the games, he earned himself a spot. So tip of the cap to you there, Kelvin Harmon. Two also different players. Cropper's a slot receiver more so. Harmon's your big body on the outside. Princeton Fant, who had a chance to make the roster, could not quite earn it. Cowboys have invested in him. They, they like him. That was a no-brainer for the practice squad as well. I think uh, every practice squad pr projection had Princeton Fant on that list. More names to come. You might have seen some of them already. What is your favorite slot? Who is your favorite practice squad signing by the Dallas Cowboys? Let me know at the pinned comments of today's show. Josh Ball is next up here, the offensive tackle. I was actually a bit surprised he made it through waivers. I thought, given his draft pedigree, how well he played in the preseason, somebody would claim him. Ended up not being the case. So I'll give the Cowboys credit. They were able to get both Josh Ball and Matt Willetsko onto their 53-slash-practice squad. I think that worked out exactly how the Dallas Cowboys wanted it to. Dakota Shepley is next up. That is a veteran interior offensive lineman. I actually think he played that great in the preseason. A uh, little surprised he made it through, but the Cowboys didn't have that many other options that were, could make sense on the practice squad. There are two st spots still open. Wouldn't be shocked if they searched for in another uh, offensive line option. I think they will also be searching for more defensive line options. They do have Denzel Daxon. Now, he's a freebie. He's a, is known as an international player pathway program. So they get an extra practice squad spot for him. So Dallas doesn't have to worry about that. But that's the only defensive tackle on the list. We'll come back to that. Carl Lawson, the pass rusher, the veteran pass rusher, one of the six veterans the Cowboys are eligible to have, including like Dakota Shepley is one of them and uh, Dalvin Cook. He is on the practice squad. They're going to give him some more time, I think, to fully get into game shape. Certainly one to watch for game day call-ups. Going to get two game day call-ups each week, up to two, three times maximum for each player. 
Darius Harris, one of several linebackers who I thought was pretty solid in that final preseason game, by the way, offers special teams value, good type of player to have on the practice squad. Now, when it comes to the Cowboys' like roster cut process and all the cuts they've made, the moves they've made, the players they've added to the practice squad, the ones that they, they've lost, how do you grade what Dallas has done? A, B, C, D, or F in the comments section. Nick Vigil, I thought, had a chance to make the active roster. He is a veteran. No waivers required for him. I think this is someone that both Bones Fossil and Mike Zimmer slash Paul Gunther like. They've got, he's got ties to all those guys now. Pretty obvious practice squad candidate there. Brock Mogginson, this had been reported yesterday, by the way, that he was going to be an option uh, for the Dallas Cowboys on the practice squad. He does get through. There was never really in doubt there. He had the fun interception in the preseason. Come on, Hall, who I was never that worried about being claimed since he had already been cut once this preseason. I think, again, earned a spot. He had an awesome second preseason game, had the very cool pick six that allowed us to bust out the turnover chain. More on that in a second. This one was just a, a solid, shrewd addition there. Offers you some additional nickel depth at the cornerback spot. Speaking of the aforementioned turnover chain, you can get yours over at chatsports.com slash Cowboys chain. That link will be in the comment section and the description of today's show. It is via Fanatic, so it's sometimes on sale. Not always, but if you click on it, you can find it 25% off or at least get free shipping or something over at Fanatics. Again, that's chatsports.com slash Cowboys Chain. The link will be in the comment section and the description of today's show. There will be a clickable link for you guys, too, in the bottom right corner of today's video on top of that. All right, two more players to go. Josh Butler once again carves out his practice squad spot. Dallas likes him. Um, that's not overly surprising. He got the nod, at least temporarily for now, over Josh DeBerry. Um, Cowboys have liked him. They had a chance to do something funny. I guess they still do. Deshaun Wright did not make the Vikings roster. Uh, I haven't seen the Vikings practice squad, so we've we got to keep an eye out for, for that one there. Um, but if he makes it, but they could do something funny and bring back to Sean Wright if they wanted to. They have two spots open after all. Finally, safety, Imani Johnson. I think he might have been on it, even with if Julius Wood had been able to make it down to the practice squad. With Wood getting claimed, it was a no-brainer for me that Imani Johnson was going to be on that list, or on this list, I should say. So two spots open. I think they're going to hunt a defensive tackle. Probably something else as well. Who else do you want to add to the Dallas Cowboys practice squad? Not guys that have been already signed, so unfortunately Frank Gore Jr. is not eligible if you wanted him. Uh, I don't think you're going to go after a guy like Royce Freeman and kind of, you know, that race done been run, which has been kind of funny. Who else do you want to add to the Cowboys practice squad? Drop that player name or names in the comments. Justin Rogers will not be on that list. Todd Archer of ESPN reporting he is actually going to sign with the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, this one stings because I have to go back and double check. I think it's been five years, somewhere in that time frame, that the Cowboys didn't find a way uh, to get their draft pick onto the roster week one. Um, you know, they did it with Matt Farniak. Uh, I'm trying to think. I think it was like, I think it was 2019. I forget which, if it was Mike Weber or Jalen Jelks, one of those two, I feel like, didn't make the roster as a draft pick. That happened with Justin Rogers. So, remember, the, the way this works is Rogers gets a, gets a choice too. The Bengals brought Rogers in for a pre-draft workout. They liked him. I think had the Cowboys not drafted him, they would have signed him in the undrafted free agency process. So I think that was a key factor here. Rodgers wanting to go to Cincinnati. You miss out on him. I think they will be looking for another defensive tackle. I hope they can find one. Could be a veteran. Could be a young guy. But I think DT really does still stand out as an area of concern on this Cowboys practice squad. If, when we get news on what that ends up looking like in terms of who it is, we will have a video or at least a short for you on it. So don't miss out. Make sure you guys are subscribed.